Well, PK, obviously a bit of a gut punch very late on in that game for Adelaide. What did you make of your side's performance before in response to the goal? Yeah, well, in, in meaning their goal. Yeah. yeah. I thought we dominated. Um, they had two shots. One was a cross, the other one was a back pass from us. You know, we had we had a lot of um, obviously a lot of possession. Yeah, but we were, we were creating a lot of chances in good areas. Um, obviously, we didn't score them, but you know, yeah, those ones there. It's, sometimes it's a bit hard to take, especially when you you, know, you dominate the game for 90 minutes and you know you end up losing 2-1. You say getting into those areas and getting the good shots, just one of those nights where they just weren't falling for you. Another night you win three or four nil, yeah, three or four look, one. You I, think? I, look, I think there was a few saves. You know, we had Curtis, Gold disallowed for, I have no idea for. Um, you know, we had chances where you know either side of the goalkeeper they're in, um, but that went to, wasn't to be tonight. But I'm happy that the, the way they. Um, they went about it, especially after we've had a hard couple of weeks. Um, and we're still creating some very good chances in some good areas. And like you said, sometimes they go in and sometimes they don't, They don't, I should say. And tonight they didn't. Um, Marco Tilio going off with an injury in the first half, I guess. First, are you able to share with us what the injury was? And two, uh, how much did that disrupt your game plan tonight? Yeah, look, it was just a bit, I think, some tightness in the calves. Um, that was unexpected. Um, yeah. Sometimes you can't plan for that, you know, and would have liked to get more out of Marco. Um, but, you know, uh, for some reason his calves uh, were, were, were a bit tight um, and hence why we, we, we had to make the substitution early. And Jamo as well, he went off a little bit earlier. Is that a similar issue, just another sort yeah, of knock? Jamo felt yeah, a little tweak and again, it's a, you know, we're at the point where we didn't want to risk so that's why we just moved, uh, obviously, Scotty um, and brought no, no, no one. And uh, Collar came on in the second half, of early, late in the first half, and he did quite a decent job, I guess. How did you see his performance on the left-hand side today? Yeah, you know, obviously, he had to adapt from, you know, normally he plays for up front or on the right to the left. You know, I think he could have scored one or two goals. So, um, again, look, I'm just happy that, you know, um, we got in those positions to, to create chances. PK, tonight's matchup is between two of the sides in A-League men that are known for pressing their opponents. How do you think your press worked against Adelaide and how do you think your side responded to the Reds' press? Yeah, look, I thought we were comfortable in terms of playing out. Um, again, uh, you know, I thought our press was really good. Um, you know, maybe one or, once or twice, you know, it, it doesn't happen. But for the majority of the game, you know, I thought we... we um, you know, we kept the pressure on them um, for as long as possible. Do you think it impacted territory, though? There are a lot of games where you're playing predominantly in the opposition's half. This this game seemed to be more played in box, played from box to box. Do you think Do you think that was a consequence of that, or so does that just mean another? they kick long? Sorry, is that meaning they kick long the ball long? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the answer to the question. So we maybe forced the ball the ball longer to us. That helped us. No, no, I'm. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm just mean, just in terms of both teams pressing. It, do you think it creates just a more, a, a more, con, a more let's say expanded game. area of the game, like it playing area? Depends. You know, sometimes if they they get out, you know, it'll be like us. If you get out, you you expose, you get, you get exposed, or you expose the opposition. Um, could have been transition. Um, that you know, uh, maybe the game got stretched. But I thought our, our pressing uh, for the majority of the night. It was really good, and you know we fought, we forced a lot of turnovers. Um, so I was happy with that. PK, obviously short turnaround coming up. You got the Jets coming to town on Friday. Yep. Do you rotate the squad um, heading into that one? Yeah, look, we need to see how everyone is. Um, you know, the, the boys have had a, a tough couple of weeks, so look, we'll see how they are, how they pull up tonight, tomorrow, and then you know I'll make my decision um, come Friday. No Subasa tonight. Is he maybe a chance to feature against the Jets? Uh, maybe it's a bit too early, um, but he's on he's on the right track. Um, he's been training quite hard. So did he not get much training in when he was with Toronto? Like, what sort of condition was he in when he arrived? Uh, look, uh, he, he was he was okay, um, uh, but as you know, to to play in this team, uh, you, know, you you need to be at a certain level, and um, you know I, I don't want to jeopardise. 
you know, uh, anything with that. So, you know, I just felt that maybe you need a couple of extra weeks, um, you know, obviously to, to make, a, make a claim for, to, you know, to get selected in the team. Just looking at the bigger picture, PK obviously spoke about, I guess, tonight, a bit unlucky at times, a couple of chances didn't go away and all of those kinds of things. But what's equally true is that we've seen over the last couple of months, your team really struggle defensively. I don't think you've kept a clean sheet in eight games. Yeah. What do you put that down to? Why, why do you think that's happening? I don't know. If you, sometimes a cross goes in and you can't stop that. So I don't think that's a defensive problem. If the guy tries to cross the ball, sometimes it's luck. I go, Carl makes a back pass, you know, it's just a, a decision that he decided to make under hit, you know, um, again, that's not through the opposition, it's through us. So, you know, I, I think with us, it's, you know, choosing the right decision at times, especially, you know, where in the, in the, in the pitch or along in the game, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, we, um, it's the mistakes that I think we're making instead of maybe the opposition that's actually creating. So if it is individual mistakes that are responsible for all of these goals, yeah. are there steps that you think you can take to, to eradicate those or to uh, prevent you, you those? You can teach them, yeah. I'm sure you've made a few spelling mistakes in your career. Exactly, and what did you do? You learn and you move on to get better. Same as football.